Okay, hii ni complete online business analytics web dashboard kwa ajili ya kufanya business key performance indicators, trends pamoja na predictions. Tumetumia Python programming language na open source library ya Python inaitwa Streamrate. Kuna hizi hapa source code zipo kwenye GitHub repository. Unaweza kuzidownload na kuzinstall kwenye kompyuta yako. Mazumuni ni ku download hii project na kutumia data set za kwako we mwenyewe lakini hii inakuwa just a template. Okay, so hii ni just a font page. Hii ni page ya mbele ambayo fanya kazi ya ku check trends za business na kufanya what descriptive statistics or descriptive analytics. So kwenye application yetu hii imegawanywa katika sehemu mbili. Sehemu ya kwanza ni descriptive statistics, sehemu ya pili ni a uh, predictive analytics. So uje kucheki page ya mbele ni descriptive statistics. Na uje kucheki hapa imefanya just uh, descriptive statistics. Uje kuangalia hapa kuna information kama summation, mode, average, median and so on. Hizi hapa ni visualization graphs kwa ajili ya kucheki frequency za business. For example nimeashimu kwamba nina product, nina regions na kadhalika. Nataka nione product ipi imeuzwa sana au region ipi ni most high frequency region so natumia nini natumia visualization graphs hii ni pie chart hii ni simple bar graph simple line graph so na upande wa chini huku na hizi hapa i box plot box plot zinafanya kazi ya kucheck variable distributions inagawa variable katika quarters first quarter second na third quarter so hizo quarters za kusaidia wewe kujua ipi ni maximum value ipi ni minimum value na kadhalika kwenye kila particular item kama position kasa unaona ni variable gani ambayo ni ina value kubwa au ina value ndogo kwenye kila uh, what kwenye kila variable okay so kuna hii hapa drop down au nikiklik naweza nika just ku filter box plot ta visualize data kutokana na hichi ambacho nimekifilter hapo kwenye hii kwa kwa wewe utakuwa umeka data zako of course itakuwa ina onyesha trends ya data zako Okay. Okay, so upande wa huku juu hii nina click na check data set ambazo zipo kwenye Microsoft Excel. So hii ni Microsoft Excel data set. Kuna display kwa namna hii na hapa naweza nikafilter hizo data set. Okay. Okay. Na upande huu hapa kushoto nina hizi hapa links. Hizi links ni kwa ajili ya kufanya uh, trends mbalimbali. Mbali. So kicheki features za project ya kwanza nina hii hapa covariance <coughs> Niki click kwenye covariance. Covariance ni just machine learning model ambayo inafanya kazi kucheki relationship between variables. Kwa hivyo kwa wewe utakuwa umeka data zako. Data zako utakuwa ume, umeziweka mimi nimeka zangu na ni sample tu. Lakini sasa wewe utakuwa umeka data zako. Kwa hiyo utacheki relationship between ya variable moja na variable nyingine vipi inapelekea variable nyingine kuongezeka au kupungua. So <coughs> hii ni modo ambayo inacheki uiano wa vitu viwili kama vina mahusiano. Okay, na ndio maana hapa ngeja niweza nikacheki mahusiano kati ya project na project yenyewe. So of course hapa nitapata uh, correlation coefficient of correlation itakuwa ni moja. Sababu so, nimecheki relationship baina ya variable ambayo ni y na y yenyewe. Yaani na predict y yenyewe. So Nwa kusama hii covariance inajabu kucheki relationship between two variables x na y. So hapa nwa jabu kucheki relationship baina ya y na y yenyewe. Kwa hapo lazima utapata coefficient correlation equal to 100%. Kusababu na predict y yenyewe. Okay, so hapa nwa jabu kuchagua uh, variable nyingine labla hii hapa inakuwa ni kama ni x. Kwa kuta modu wetu ina len na graph ina change automatic hapa. Okay. Na hizi hapa ni just the x feature, hii ni prediction na hizi huku ni differences between predicted value na actual value. Okay. So kwa hivyo tukwa data zako. Fini kwenye kenye advanced regression. Advanced regression. Yinafanya kazi ya ku check relationship between two or more variables. Multiple linear regression ya zanga sema. Okay. So advanced manake kuna information nyingi sana zinakuwa zinaonekana hapo katika hii model. So kama unavyoona kuna hizi information kama mean validation score, eh, mean absolute error na nyinginevyo. 
coefficient of determination and so on and so on so kwa hiyo utakuwa umeka data zako na itaweza ku learn kutoka kwenye data zako for example hii ni line of best fit okay na hii hapa ni just a normal distribution curve so ukicheck itaiona okay na hii hapa uh, adjusted coefficient of co correlation na nyingine hii hapo okay uh, hii hapa ni default correlation okay okay so ukicheck inaonekana namna hii so kwa hiyo utakuwa umeka data zako kwa so hii ni just a histogram is na kadhalika okay so hii ni hiyo ni advanced uh, linear linear regression ambayo ni multiple linear regression okay so hii hapa ni business location so ni click business location hii inafanya kazi ya ku check maeneo mbalimbali ambapo mbali kuna centers za business so for example ni click office map view and analytics itafungua uh, google map na baba umetumika open source uh, api ya google kwa ajili ya ku visualize business locations kwenye map so ni kiklik unaona kiklik hapa inaonyesha business locations au uh, ni kiklik ni expand hapa tuna my business locations hizi hapa business locations okay so ni kiklik kwenye particular business location ina just kuonyesha trend for example branch manager tax collection branch name unit price total price and phone number okay so ni kiklik hapo na yenyewe inaonyesha business trends okay kwenye google map so hizi ni business locations so hapa naweza nika just ku enable macro element kwa example nikija ku click hapo kwenye element hiyo utaona ime disable google satellite niki click ime enable google satellite okay so niki zoom out so niki zoom out okay so unaja kuona ina zikombine unapata a single point so niki zoom in inazidi kuzigawa kama unavyoona hapo okay so point nyingine hii hapa hizi ni business locations so niki zoom in utaziona hizi hapa okay so niki enable niki disable google labels inaondoa labels niki disable macro elements inaondoa ndio inabaki hizi okay so niki click inaonyesha business trends ya particular location okay so niki enable na hapa niki enable so hapa niki disable inaondoa hiyo google satellite okay okay and kija pa select data hapa na fetch data ya particular business location na itaonyesha information zake kama vile a uh, uh, branch name collection quantity unit price longitude latitude is in coordinates total price na kadhalika nikichagua branch number 4 for example utaona ina fetch taarifa za branch number branch number 5 na yenyewe halikadhalika so huku hii ni just a filter niko katika map kama sasa nione office branch number 1 niki remove hapa sitabakia 17 okay unaona kama 17 niki remove office branch number 2 so hapa zinabakia 16 niki remove okay so sitabakia 15 so niki zoom okay so tutakuja kuona ni hizi hapa okay so niki zoom ni hizi so niki click inakuwa namna hiyo okay so hii hapa ni just analytics na office branches 18 ambazo ni zote zinaonekana zinaonekana hapo na hizi ni just a simple trends okay so nikija hapa kuna hii descriptive statistics so niki click hiyo inaonyesha uh, variable dispersion kama vile percentile number summary lakini kwa categorical data okay so ngoja kucheck hapa na just is total sales na hii ni for example na categories kutokana na data zangu by frequency lakini wewe utaikaza kwako hii ni just a data set okay hii ni data set ambayo ni file ya Microsoft Excel so nikiklik hii hapa katika hii tab hiyo kuna hizi ni just measure of dispersions na wewe una check print kama percentile percentile ni percentage ya data set 25 percentage 50 75 100 percentage ya data set hizi ni measure of dispersion okay so nikija hapa kwenye sales by date okay sales by date naweza nika just ku filter sales kutoka kwenye date range okay so sales nikija hapa upande wa left side 
Niki click na waneza nika pick a particular date Nikuja kuangalia information zake au report yake hapa So for example na unataka sales from uh, 2021 So niki click kichagwa na date Tona application ina filter data Particular kutukana na date range okay? So hizi ni trends ambazo ni base na date range So nikuja kuchagua year for example ya hii hapo okay? So niki click itafetch data kutokana na current date ambayo nimeichagua hapo. So unaona kama hapa isha filter tayari na values zinabadilika na hapa values na change. Okay, so unaona ki filter for example year, kichagua year for example hii hapo. So tuna na change na graph inabadilika, okay? So check. Okay. So <coughs> hapa ni just kuweza kuweza kuinsert data kwenye file ya Microsoft Excel. So nita pick date, tachagua region, tachagua siri, tachagua category for example, nita product name, then nita choose the quantity, then nita click save data to Excel. Ok, so nita click to the product has been added successful, nita kwenye file Microsoft Excel, ok. Ok, hiyo ikuwa ni sales by date. Kuna hii hapa regression analysis. So regression analysis is a multiple linear regression, okay? So, if I can check the relationship between variable values and check the relationship, I can see what I can okay? So you can see y-intercept coefficient of b1 and b2 come and have a regression equation here for you. So measure of variations, okay? And the prediction table. This table is a way to predict. I can see that this is value, name, number of dependent, and hii ni actual y ni predicted y SSE, SSR and so on so hapa nzo ka download predicted data set ok na hii hapa ni differences between actual value na predicted value hii ni distribution cover kwa jia kwenye share variables kwa distributed na hii ni line of best fit kwenye share vp model ime fit vp hii question ime fit katika best line Okay, so kia kuangalia pa siyo mbaya, data zime sogea sogea katika prediction line, okay? Okay, so hapa nza download predicted data set. So nkiklik, tenda kudownload predicted data set. Kama na vona misha kuwa downloaded, okay? Yapo. Okay, again, nina hii hapa link ya tutorials. So nkiklik tutorials, so na wanaweza nkaja kucheki video tutorials. So nita open, kwa nita kani watch video hii hapa, nita kiklik yo video, okay? ita open link then ita click link ndenda katika youtube ok ndenda katika youtube ndenda kucheki video mbao video yenye ndo hii of course ina open ok ndenda video ina usiana na hii hapa kisha bali analytics ok video nyingine ni hii niki click watch video number 2 ita open link ok so niki click link itafungua kwenye another tab so ndenda kuplay yu video mbao ina usu aa in also of course python web dashboard using dashboard framework dashboard and dashboard stub component okay so i pray okay so nikija kwenye home ndio sema hii na kwa nimerudi katika home menu unaonekana hapo na hii ni font page okay okay so hii hapa ni progress niki click progress ni progress niki click inaonyesha uh, target ya business kama li, targets ni ku reach kiwango fulani cha fedha current tupo katika eneo gani yani inaonyesha current business ipo katika eneo gani so kuja kucheki current tupo katika 83 percentage of kiasi hiki cha fedha kwa hii ni target percentage ya business yetu tupo 83 percent ya kiasi fulani cha fedha hiyo ndo progress okay yeah kia kwenye home na kena uli hapa katika hii home page font page as well font page ok ok so i think kila kitu nimesha kionyesha hapa ok so kina chufata ni kudanlo resource code na kuzi implement kwenye computer hako so step number one unawajwa kwa hapa utai download resource code kwenye hii GitHub repository so let's click 
Ya udah download di Azizip, oke. Okay? So kembali aku cakap download di Uta Azizip. Uzi apa nak download, oke? Okay? Okay, so Okay, so Bada kusha kudownload Uta unzip Okay, so now Bada kusha kudownload Uta just open Okay Then uta open Kwa kutumia Winrar, of course Mina tumia Winrar Mina tumia Winrar So Kukisha kwa meopen kama hivi Ya just ku drop wapo Okay, so wapo ni me drop Then uta double click kuli open So hii ni just a Download the directory. So we can store requirements. So we can find requirements. So you go to his Japanese library. So to me, I could build your project. Now, libraries are Python as well. So, because store is only very simple. Now, we have a when you directory address bar. I will do. I just go highlight. I will just highlight. I just want to cut CMD shortcut. Ya ku open command prompt hii So ta click hii Enter So command prompt ita open kama hivi Ok So another step is to install Requirements to txt Install requirements So ta tumia pip command Pip install Then space Hyphen r Then na mention file name is requirements Then space Nika requirements Okay. .txt After then click enter Kwa jia ku install Izo library So ya mini Kwa sabu nisha install So Kwa click enter Kwa jia ku install After installation Now another step is Ku open Key directory Kwa kutumia Visual Studio Code So hapa hapa Anta jia suka ndika code Code is any space, is any dot, is any forward slash. He end up with me shafanya installation ya Visual Studio Code. Na wanaona me fungua project yetu. Project yetu me shafunguka. Na hii hape na wanekana hapa. Is any just a file amba zipo kwenye ili direct uli yetu. Nchifoto ni kuirani project. So nojaba nita bunyeza terminal. Nojaba choose new terminal. Ok. So ni choose new terminal tu kuchini itaonekana our new terminal ambao ni hii. Okay. So hapa kwenye new terminal ita just kuandika stream light then space then run run file name na itua home.py hiyo ni just entry point ya kuingilia. So ita just kuandika home.py ni kama na vone kana hapa home.py home.py after then ta click enter kwa jiri ya ku run project ok so project si mirani kama hivu na vona call the same kama hivu wana vone kana hapo so hapa ilikuwa ni online so ta uji kwa ngalia ni address ya online ni ito open project.streamrate.app ok lakini hapa ni offline so kwa ngala address ni local host na hii ni port number local host ni nafata ni port number ok hapa ni online ok so kicheki hapa ni address ya online kwa kisha kwa kwa mirani basi hapa kwa mirani kwenye local host kwa the same interface the same operations my data set za excel Okay, this is the visualization graphs. Okay, okay. So business locations, you know, palette is only. So library is what we just install. Now here library a map. It only can be used. Come on, have one. Of course, the bad one is not in a fetch. Now it's a image print here by Google Map. Now it's in business locations. This is you. Turn on business locations. Zangu is here. Okay. Okay, kwa inaruwa gudi na inafanya kazi, okay? 